Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell you how good it feels to be back on track. <laughs> to be back where we were after such a long time away. Oh my god. My Hero Academia, Season 2, Episode 10. We are finally here. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. You remember what happens before this? Yeah. There will be a little bit of a refresher Probably. before, I think. Probably. I'm sure I'll There's figure. usually a refresher. Well, you know that they're in the middle of a tournament arc. They're in the second round. I'm and, sure I'll figure it out. And Todoroki, a.k.a. Ice and Fire, is going up against Deku. I mean, I'm sure Midoriya's going to have a lot of internal angst and mutter a lot. <laughs> and All Might's going to show up with some sage advice. And there are going to be some cool fights. I mean, Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to happen. I'm, oh, I don't need to see that. That's not for my eyes. Nudes? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, if it were for so, from some people at this organization, I'd be okay with it, but no. No. These these are actually, like, uh, uh, marching orders for, uh, for, um, for, next, uh, for the next uh, training sessions. And, uh, oh, okay. And I'm like... Well, you said this organization. Uh, I thought you meant this organization. No, I was like... No, no, no. Not this organization. I'm not... You know me, man. I ain't a perv. I ain't a perv. <laughs> Although I know a lot of people out there on the interwebs would like to see uh, certain nudes. Mine, right? Yeah. Sexy mine, sexy mine. <laughs> nope, nobody wants to see mine because it ain't ever happening. And, uh, me neither. I, I, I have way too much self-respect. <laughs> well, everybody's naked. Well, yeah, everybody's born naked. It's just... I, I'm not going to put them out there or even take snaps of them because, it, as as a famous comedian once said, no woman wants to see a dick pic. Every time they get a dick pic, they, they just die laughing and just like post it to all their friends. Like, can you believe this guy? <laughs> uh, what if you got a weird vein you don't know that's off? And, and she's a doctor. send it to a or nurse. Or a nurse. Yeah. 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 She's like, oh, gross. Wait. <laughs> you need to go to hospital. Him. Just be like, hey. This is like in Parks and Rec where everybody starts sending pictures to Anne because <laughs> she's a nurse. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, the girl types back, hey. And he's like, and the guy types, you like, you liked what you saw, didn't you? And she's like, no, I think you have testicular cancer. And to which the guy's like, what? It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Cancer's a thing. Yes, it is. Get checked, everybody. <clears throat> Indeed. Get checked. Anyway, um, My Hero Academia, uh, we are back at it. And I'm so happy we're back to where we were. I mean, finally, The Rock has come back to Boko no Hero Academia. That's the, that's the original Japanese name for it. But I'm excited to see what's going yeah, to happen in this episode. I always see people abbreviate it BNHA, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Boku no Hero. What are you talking about? Oh, that's you. <clears throat> but I just call it M -A MHA, My Hero Academia. But... Anyway, we have this on screen. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It is time. Oh. <coughs> Right back at you. <laughs> All right. right. How many times I've hurt my hand? Oh, do that so many times. Oh, 
Six more. Okay, so he's only using his primary fingers. I guess he's got to flick it, so... Yeah, he has to use his yeah, thumb. Once, once he's got no fingers, he can't just, like, thumb smash, yeah. really. I mean, maybe he could go, like... Yeah. Like, or something to flick his thumb. Or, or, or this. Or he could do this. Or he could use his other thumb. Yeah. So say use that pretty early. Yeah, that's a full shot on the left arm. That's not good. Yeah, his left arm is messed up. limit to how much he can use. Like he was saying, every work has a limit. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> almost got him. Woo! Oh! Oh! We used it! No! Gross. Yeah, but you've kind of done it to yourself. Still, though, I'd be kind of terrified about a dude that's just like fucking sacrificing his limbs to attack me. You know? Like, this dude's slightly insane. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Managed to hit him without breaking the rest of his arm though. Oh. Use it, yeah. Shit. Ah, he's used all of his fingers twice. He's about to use one of them again. Yeah. What? <laughs> See? What? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. He's doubting. Oh. Like a, just a flying, diving missile headbutt. ふざけるなって今思ってる。だって、こんなもので倒れていても、オールマイトは愚か。雑魚ミラン見せろ。やめてください。まだ一度ですよ。もう一度邪魔する。うるせえ。お父さんみたいになりたくない。でも、ヒ
<laughs> oh shit. Whoa! Holy crap. Damn! Jesus. A collision of epic powers, dude. Damn. That was like the biggest high five of all time, right? <laughs> <laughs> He literally didn't have a leg to stand on at that point, so... True. Damn. I was not expecting that. I... I holy hell. I mean, I Midoriya mean, lost. At least this is a show where they uh, can allow things to go either way, you know? Yeah. It's not always going to be like the main character is always going to go well, forward. Well, I know that. It's just, I, I, I just figured here we would at least see Midori, uh, Midoriya's uh, advancement and it'd be him and Bakugo in the final. I mean, that was that was where I thought it was going to some degree. I don't know. They've got so much history and bad blood. I feel like they can just kind of save that. And I mean, honestly, True. it's like, you know, with Todoroki using his full power versus Midoriya, I mean, he can't really access, I mean even, like, 5% without, like, you know... Destroying himself, yeah. Wrecking right. himself, so... So my bet is it's going to be Todoroki versus Bakugo, actually. That's what it looks like. I, either him or a, or a Dark Shadow. I, um, Tamaki, I think is his name. The, uh, or they're going to do one of those really lame things where they're like, okay, the main character's out, so we're just going to follow him, and he's going to wake up after the tournament's over and just get told what happened, so we won't actually I don't see think the they're going to do that. I, I don't think they're going to do yeah. that, man, because they they have way too much respect for the other characters. Well, but Tokoyomi... Tokoyomi, he, yeah, that's... Well, so Todoroki has fire, and Bakugo has fire, and fire is heat and light, which Dark Shadow doesn't like light. He hates lightning. He, uh, the more light that there is, the worse it is. So I feel but like they the have biggest, a... But you have to also think, the biggest light also creates the greatest shadow. What if uh, this tournament goes into uh, the dusk and night hours of the day? May I don't and, know. Uh, and by the time he gets in there, like he actually gets to use it whenever it's nighttime. Well, she said he can't fully control, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, that would still work, except they can generate their own their own light. So, I, yeah. I don't know. I feel like they have a really strong type advantage if we're, like, going to Pokemon this thing. They <laughs> do, which, um, 
that's one thing also uh, with um, um, the. I forget. I, you see these characters; they escape me sometimes. Uh, the armament kid, the one who went up against Tetsu Tetsu. Yeah, I can't remember uh, name. Uh, Kiri. Uh, Kiri. Uh, Kiriga. Kirigaya. Kirijima. Kirishima. Kira something. Yeah. yeah. Kirishima. Kirishima, I think. So. Which the comments ripped you a new one for saying it was armament. Well, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me it's that. Creation. Like, you know, there are no light type Pokemon no, 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 that have no, an advantage no, against dark type. No, 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 no. It's not creation. Type. Creation is a uh, Yayarozu. Hmm. Yayarozu creates. She pulls stuff from. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking about. What's, what are, who are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about the, the kid who the can hard like, harden ability. his skin. Oh. Wow. The redheaded kid who was just talking to Bakugo, who's going to face Bakugo. The next. rock guy? Yeah. No. He's not really a rock. He's just... I think they call it har- Harden or something. Hardening or armament. And then yeah. Tetsu Tetsu His looks like something. rock, whereas Tetsu's looks like steel. Yeah. Tetsu, well, Tetsu Tetsu literally yeah. is steel, steel. Tetsuo the Iron Man. Tetsu Tetsu, Tetsu Tetsu, <laughs> Tetsu is literally his name. Yeah. That's that's a hell of a name to have. Iron, 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 Iron. Iron. <laughs> the Iron Man. It's like, crap, I didn't eat enough iron. Which, which one of them won the arm wrestling again? Uh, It was... Uh, uh, Kira guy, uh, redhead kid. Yeah, redhead okay. kid won. Uh, Ki- uh, Kirishima, I believe, is his name. I think that's right. That's we'll find right. out next episode because from what it looks like we're moving on straight from this. Because damn, I mean, this just again shows more character growth, not just from Midoriya but also from Todoroki. Because I mean, dude, you got a feel for Todoroki. I mean, well, they had their little like talk out and stuff, and you know, he learned a lot of his motivations. So it's like, you know, it's like kind of like All Might was like, he's like, are you trying to save Todoroki too? Like, you know, I think Midoriya has this like, he's kind of got like a savior complex a little bit. Like he he well, wants to he <laughs> I mean he believes in his mind he's gonna grow up and be able to save everybody. Well, he, I think he wants to. It's well, just, yeah, when you he has know. to go through it different ways to save different people because there are people who are capable of saving themselves. They just have to have the will and the understanding to do so. I think Todoroki has the will to has the the ability to save himself, and the, he has great abilities. I right. mean, he has fire and ice. I mean, that that's too. But too it's it's interesting ridiculous. that Mitoria was willing to break himself in what is just a, a essentially a a. a, a a game mode. I mean, it's not life or death. True. Um, and he's still willing to go through all that suffering just to try and bring out the best in somebody else. So, I mean, it's, you know. Well, I think it's just because Midoriya wants, uh, wants his generation of heroes to be truly great because <laughs> I think he's taking an example from All Might. You know, All Might has been the precipice, the pinnacle, the alpha of superheroes for the longest time. And with him taking over, he knows he's going to have to have time to reach his full potential with uh, the one for all. And um, I think also when it comes to um, when it comes to Todoroki, I mean Todoroki, he's he he doesn't have the vision to pass his, surpass his father. He just wants to be his own hero at this point. Well, I think, yeah, that's definitely the the right choice that he needed to make. I think he was so wrapped up in this idea that he was stuck being his father if he used all his power, which is, you know... That's a ridiculous thing. Well, it is, but, I mean, with the life he's had, you could see where he'd get hung up on something like that. Well, you also saw that there were other kids outside uh, that he was was seeing them play with the ball outside. I think that was his brothers and sisters and that they weren't a lot... Because some of them had uh, red and white hair. None of them were. And... But no, I don't think any of them had the had both powers like Todoroki. Right. And I think the very moment Todoroki showed that he not only had one but had both abilities, that's when his father singled him out and effectively made him the chosen one of the family. It, it's it's almost it it it's almost like the the fair haired child thing. Like every like a, a lot of people say their parents some parents pick their favorites. Some parents pick their favorites. Sometimes, sometimes them. parents do because <clears throat> people are bad parents. Yeah, people are bad parents, and that's and that's a per- prime example of of Endeavor being a bad. Well, parent. For another example of a bad parent, it's like, oh, that side that reminds me of your dad, the one where you just have red hair, like is so unsightly to me that I'm gonna throw boiling water on you. Yeah. You realize hair dye is a thing? 
Like, does I mean, Spidey him take something. him to the fucking salon yeah. and get the left side of his hair dyed white, too? I mean, Actually, she I would, thought, Yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel like she was clearly in the midst of, like, a mental breakdown or something. I like, would say that, too. But well, because when he was really... When, yeah, when he was really little, like... You know, she seemed pretty comforting. So, like, when she turned I, around, her eyes were all crazy. It was like... Yeah. I think one thing about it is that she's had so many children with Endeavor, and all of the children have grown up to resent her because of the favoritism that he has had with Todoroki. And not only that, but also the favoritism that... The well, not mother- to mention there's, there's the whole, like, that's essentially rape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the, I, I was. I would say she's definitely got PTSD because she, she didn't. She wanted to it be was like a, yeah, well, an arranged, like arranged marriage forced marriage. Is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Arranged marriages are bullshit. Love is love, and never get between that. And if you force your way through, then that's well, just that's so the lowest kind of low. You know, arranged marriages have a higher success rate than most modern marriages we think of. But if you trust your parents, that's kind of and because parents, the woman's not really allowed to just leave. Well, I mean, like her a family lot, would like disown her. Well, a lot of times in like. You know, I know that's like still popular in some like some cultures well, where it's India, like for big, for it's really big men and women in Pakistan. But sometimes sometimes arranged marriages can work, but you have to trust your parents and they have to actually want what's best for you and you have to commit to it. But I think it in would this work case, out better too, where if your parents were like, We really want you to marry this person and so you're introduced as kids, you grow up right, together, yeah. You actually see if you get along and your parents not, go, not uh, like oh, this. Well you guys don't get there, along. There's so there's act, maybe I actually, we'll look for somebody else for I'm you. I'm not yeah. gonna say that my parents were trying to arrange a marriage or get or set me up with a girl. But there was a girl that my mom did tell me all the time, hey you should hang out with her. Hey, you should uh, you should play with her more. Hey, you should do this. Hey, you should call her up and see how she's doing. Hey, you should do this. And I think my mom was effectively trying to set me up with her. Uh, Sounds but, like it. But at the same time, as time went on, after my parents got divorced, all that stopped. My dad was still friends with that side of, that with uh, those people, but my mom effectively lost contact. But my dad, uh, actually, it's really sad because uh, the patriarch of that family actually recently uh, just passed away and from a freak occurrence it was a blood clot mm. it was a blood clot from a leg injury that he had they took the cast off and the blood clot made its way to his heart and that was it oh that sucks and and he was a nice guy and i actually came across uh, his came across the daughter who i was really you know i was sort of set up with a lot when i was younger and she was torn up about it and she was yeah, she was married, happily married, and has two kids, so she's had a good life. And plus, she's a doctor, so <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Imagine how that would have gone. Me, uh, a a loser on YouTube, marrying a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always kind of think about the fact that, like, if I had been <clears throat> with certain people at certain points, my life probably would have went a completely different direction. That's that's where I'm at too. I mean, because uh, I always kind of wondered, like. Um, like if I if I ended up with like certain girls that I know like moved away, you know, would I have like picked up my life and been like, I will find a job where you're going, I'll go with you and stuff like that, you know, and I wouldn't have even have like been here at this point anymore. But yeah, who knows? Well, like, uh, well, life has many branches is, at boys. The past is a can't is, go back. An, is an eternal pit of what ifs. I mean, I can look back and say, hey, what if I'd have never stopped doing gymnastics? Would I would I not be as big as I am, and or would I not have as many injuries that I have? Well, it's like what if the arcade never closed at the Bristol Mall? I'd probably be able to run like five miles without getting out of breath at this point. But. Yeah, and also I wonder what would have happened if um, if if my uh, if just just for the he- uh, like if my mom and dad would have been able to work shit out. I mean, they'd probably still be together, and I would. And I don't know. I don't know where I'd be right now. We're gonna build a machine. Yeah, the what if machine. Find all the multiverse nates and all the multiverse nicks. And then, yeah, <laughs> press the. It's and then the have a machine. have a tournament to see which one of them is the one. No, it's not gonna be me. No, it's not gonna be much. me either. There, <laughs> well, there is no. Well, here's the one thing about it. No matter how many multiverses there are, there are no perfect. There are yeah. no perfect timelines. But you could ever. be the one to have the perfect combination of traits from all the nicks perfectly kick the crap out of all the other Knicks. Are you going Jet Li, the one on us? Yeah, that and a little Highlander. 
in maybe, you know, but I feel like there's got to be at least one of me in one of the timelines somewhere that works just out. Just like super so. jacked. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, walking around looking like uh, Lou Ferrigno, like peak Lou Ferrigno, like like that. I could see like your head on a Lou Ferrigno body, and it cracks me the hell up. There's like one of me in like a different timeline, probably that uh, all the same events happened to up until the channel, and then something happened when like I didn't ask to join the channel or whatever. And then I also didn't get a job for a very long time, and so I probably would have spent a lot of that time just working out, because I would have been like, so, something so else to saying, do. I guess so I may saying, as well get jacked. So you're saying I'm, uh, you know, the channel's the reason you're uh, you're you're out of shape. Not really. I'm just saying. It'd be like, like, <laughs> like the the Dexter movie where it's I, like you're like digging underground for years and you just come out super jacked and bald. <laughs> I just have trouble finding like the motivation to. <laughs> the brawn, the, the rage, the, like the dome. <laughs> hey, well, it's like I'm I'm halfway motivated, <laughs> but it's like I don't really know if I have the time, and then I start thinking about it, and then I don't have the time. It's like I would have to get up and go do it quickly, and then get back on other stuff, and it's just, I, uh, I, it sucks because being unhealthy makes you feel like you don't want have the energy to go and do stuff like that quickly. Mm-hmm. But that's the only way you're ever going to get to the point where you do have the energy to do stuff like that. So you kind of have to make yourself do shit you don't actually have the energy to do. It's and pushing yourself that. past. It's, it's the, a bad circle. Yeah, it, it's a vicious cycle. Though, get you that some Goku get... weighted clothes to train in, or whatever. I feel like if everything. I just had some of those just to walk around in. I would yeah, I mean, I feel like it makes going poop harder, like everything. So you're working out all the time, even yeah. though sometimes pooping is a workout. I don't know. Right. Yeah, Thirties rough guys. <laughs> If you don't eat enough fiber, it can definitely get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. I, God. How did we get here? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that was a kick ass th- episode, though. That was. Sucks to be people who decided they were going to quit watching the series before they saw that. And not only that, but it, it it's also. Your life is sad. Oh. I kind of wish they handed out safety glasses to the audience before they uh, sat down, though. Like, that got real. That got hellish, dude. I mean, that explosion there at the end was just massive. That was pretty cool. From between both of them, it was like I feel like geez. at some point between like this year and the next year, they're gonna build some like safety covers over the audience. Like, yeah, if, if they have superhero team ups that That's move strange. together. Then you call that the Barney Stinson. <laughs> <laughs> Highest of fives. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be legendary. Wait for it. Gotta, as they wait for the mushroom cloud to dissipate. Yeah. And then... <laughs> oh, God. Ha! I finally got a bad picture of you. Check again. <laughs> oh, God. That was a crazy show. It was a crazy show. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of certain ages, this was a hell of an episode. Holy hell. I mean, uh, also, hold on. Before we before we go, let me let me check let me check real quick. See if there is a uh, an extra. Thing. There is not. I looked it up just to make sure. Ah, thank you, Nick. Because uh, 20, people have been twenty four and twenty five have one. I think is what it says. Okay, so the next two do. Okay. Uh, actually, twenty five and twenty six. Okay, so yeah. this next one. So does. next we next no. time we watch two, we need to watch the credits on both of those. Fair enough. Okay, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of My Hero Academia. Good Lord, uh, Shoto Todoroki Origin. Wow, what a, what an episode. That was some cool stuff. That was. I mean, that was a great episode. And I'm glad we're back at it. We're go- I am so happy that you all have been patient with us up until this point, And we hope that you all enjoy the rest of this uh, whenever we get to it. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. We will see you all in the next one. A peace out.